Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video, and this is another baseball reaction, and this is something very different. I say, this is just because I'm saying very different, but like the video is No Mass presents Doc Ellis and the LSD No No by James Blagden. This was suggested in my community post where I sort of asked for people to suggest things, and this had a lot of likes, and people clearly wanted this. It's a short video, and it's a, it's a real. Like, in terms of YouTube, it's a very very old one. It's actually 11 years old, and again for YouTube terms, that is very odd but i feel like i mean you look at the views and like you look at the likes and it's a small channel so I feel, I feel like this is probably just one of those sort of legendary sort of videos on youtube to do with baseball we're just going to check this out because this is obviously to do with doc ellis and i know he was a player from the past i don't know when he was playing but i know he was a player from the past and the fact that i'm familiar with familiar with him he's obviously in that case he's obviously a very very or he was a very very high level player but let's check this out and see the lsd no-no is that is that saying he got a fucking no hitter whilst on whilst on LSD? I mean, we're gonna see. Also, I'm only gonna wear one earphone for this because basically I've got um, a post. I'm waiting for a delivery, and if I miss it, obviously it'll just be frustrating. So if the video sort of stops at any point, you're gonna know where I'm going. But it probably isn't gonna happen because this is a very very short one. But let's give this a watch. I mean, people suggested it. I don't know how this is gonna go down, but. I'm interested, man. I love seeing these sort of new videos I never sort of look at before. So let's check this out and see. Wait. One of my friends are quite broke. This is the broken one. Part one? Wait. When this is part one, does that mean there's a part two? Or is it just like part one to this one? Oh, fuck. <laughs> part one. 1970, right. We flew into San Diego and I asked the manager, could I go home? Because we had an off day. So he said, yeah. So I took some LSD at the airport because I knew where it would hit me. <laughs> I'd be in my own in my little area and I'd know where to go. So that's how I got to uh, my friend's girlfriend's house. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm high as a Georgia Pine. <laughs> the next day, which I thought was the next day, she told me, you better get up, you gotta go pitch. I said, pitch, I pitch tomorrow. Hell, what are you talking about? Cause I had got up in the middle of the morning and took some more acid. <laughs> she grabbed the paper, brought me the sports page and showed me, boom. I said, oh, wow. What happened to yesterday? She said, I don't know, but you better get up. Oh, I love this, this is already, I'm loving this so much already. That airport. So rowdy. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so he's literally LSD. Play. Now this was in the 70s and Greenies was Dexamil. That was uh, the drug of choice back then was a stimulant. Over 90% of major leagues was using Dexamil when I was playing. When I got to the game, there was a lady down there in San Diego who used to always have the Bennies for me, Benzedrine, which is another stimulant. I went out to the, on the dugout and reached up because she was what standing the over fuck? the rail. She always stood over the rail and had a pretty little gold pouch. So I got the <laughs> bennies, went on back in the clubhouse, took them. This is wild. So I'm guessing there was like sort of a culture back in the back in like late in the seventies and eighties and maybe the early sixties or late sixties as well, where maybe this was just a normal thing. But this is this is really like. This is a really unique video. The game started and the mist started. Misty rain. So all during the game was a little mist. The opposing team and my teammates, they knew I was high, but they didn't know what I was high on. So they, they had no idea what LSD was other than what they see on TV with the hippies. I didn't see the hitters. All I could tell was if they was on the right side or the left side. The catcher put tape on his fingers so I could see the signals. We had a rookie on the team at that particular time named Dave Cash, and he kept saying after the first inning, he said, you got a no-no going, a no-hitter. I said, yeah, right. And I looked, <laughs> then around the fourth inning, he'd say it again, got a no-no going. <laughs> I looked, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I could also feel the pressure from other players wanting to tell him to shut up. It's a superstition thing where you're not supposed to say nothing if somebody's throwing a no-hitter. There were times when the ball was hit back at me. I jumped because I thought it was coming fast, but the ball was coming slow. Third base oh would come by and grab God. the ball and threw somebody out. 
I never caught a ball from the catcher with two hands because I thought that was a big old ball. And then sometimes it looks small. One time I covered first base. And I caught the ball, and I tagged the base all in one motion. I said, oh, I just made a touchdown. Made <laughs> <laughs> a touchdown. I love this. I didn't pay no attention to the, to, the, to the score. You know, I'm trying to get the batters out. And I'm throwing a crazy game. I'm hitting people, walking people, throwing <laughs> balls in the dirt. They're going everywhere. Now we go for the Fiesta day of resistance. We move to the bottom of the ninth on a no-hitter, leading 2 nothing. It was easier to pitch what with the, the LSD fuck? because I was so used to medicating myself. That's the way I was dealing with the fear of failure. The fear of losing, the fear of winning. It's just that it was part of the game. You know, you get to the major leagues and you say, I, I got to stay here. What do I need? Everybody in our bullpen is standing and walking around nervously. They want to run and grab Doc. <laughs> now, two balls, two strikes, and here's the pitch. Is there footage from this game? I want to see this again. Is there footage from this game? Because to like to watch this must have been so fucking funny. Uh, two balls, two strikes, and here's the pitch. Strike free! No hit on LSD. There, Marvin Doc Ellis on a no hitter. Let's just put some more in that. Oh, this is funny. I like this a lot. I really enjoyed this. Oh, Doc, um, Doc Ellis. Now, now you should arrange by. Mate, if there was... If there's any more videos, I really like the sort of editing of this. And sort of like the the funkiness. It's, this is a different type of video that I've ever done in the past. But I really like this. Wait, no, no. A documentary. I ha There's a documentary on it. See, I want to click that, but I feel like it might get blocked. I might watch this amount probably after. Just I would watch this on video, but I don't know movie clips, and this probably would get blocked. But I'm gonna have to look into this because this is really, really like like the editing on this was class, but like the the whole like, getting a no hitter in general is in like, insane. Like it's insanely hard to do it while <laughs> while whilst on acid or whilst on um, LSD. Like you're mad. But I mean, fair play to him. Like he was probably tripping out from the like he said, like the ball would be going to him slow, and he just jumps out the way because he's thinking it's going to him like a hundred miles per hour, <laughs> which just makes me laugh, man. Because I can only imagine what that would have looked like on TV. In the box score, his name would have been LSD. <laughs> Let that sink in. What the fuck? <laughs> That's actually kind of sick. LSD, LSD. I love that. This is a fantastic short film. I recommend everyone watch. So I really enjoyed this, man. Something completely like different to what I've ever seen, but I like this a lot. Doc Ellis, D Ellis, LSD, LSD. <laughs> they left out the best part of the story. The day after he pitched the no hitter, he showed up to the park thinking he was he was going to pitch. He didn't even remember doing it and had to be told by a groundskeeper, "No, Doc, you pitched yesterday. You threw a no hitter." <laughs> Is that what it really does to you? <laughs> that moment when he won and his showing it must have felt like the best feeling in the world, man. Yeah, especially when high. That must have like been extra like extra sort of must have made you feel extra good man because I mean whilst you're like I'm guessing whilst you're like that you're going to be feeling good anyway so getting a no hitter and celebrating like that must have been a madness I was high as a Georgia Pine they knew I was high but they didn't know I was high on <laughs> it's just, is that just like the culture like back then they're like just like baseball players just love their drugs I guess that's sort of what I was getting at then but I really, really, I really enjoyed this one. What happened to yesterday? We all know that feeling when we wake up drunk. I just scored a touchdown long. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That just shows how fucking god he was. But I enjoyed this again. Not going to be for everyone, but it's a short little video. But I really enjoyed this. If there's any, I mean, I see to the right there's more, but I don't know if that's a video that people would like to see. But if there's any sort of channels out there that have this kind of editing, or maybe the, does these kinds of videos on like American sports. I would love it because this is something a bit different. But I really, really enjoyed this. Like One of my favourite videos for sure. It's just different. Like a unique style, man. But hopefully you guys want them to enjoy. Until next time. Like, subscribe. Peace.